Health investigators narrowed their list of Duncan's possible contacts significantly from as many as 100 people down to 50. At this point, no one on that list is displaying symptoms, including the woman who called 911 to get help for Duncan. Fox 4's Sean Rabb spoke with that woman who, for privacy reasons, asked that we not show her face. Yes, yeah, she calls the Ebola patient Thomas Duncan her stepdad and says she did what she could to help him and the paramedics who took him to Presbyterian. Now she says all anyone can do is pray. In a northeast Dallas apartment. When I met him on Sunday morning, he only told me that he was cold. And then he said he'd been going to the bathroom a lot. Younger Jala talks about September 28th when she saw the man she calls daddy, her stepdad, Dallas's first Ebola patient, Thomas Eric Duncan. Jala says his eyes were blood red and he was so sick that she told him. So I'm going to call the ambulance to come and take you. So he said he will call. She called 911 and paramedics from station 37 showed up. That ambulance now quarantined. Jala says she told the paramedics. I tell them they may it's from a viral country. So I want you guys to wear your mouse because we've been seeing those patients on TV from our hey, country. So I want you to wear your mouse to put it on so you can protect yourself. So they went down, they took their mouse, the lady came, she took the blood, she took the temperature, she took the father son. They asked Duncan to walk downstairs. She said they couldn't bring the stretcher up. So you say I'm so cold. I said, okay, take the blanket and put it on you. She, the lady said, no, she cannot. He cannot take the blanket with him in the ambulance. Duncan was taken by the paramedics to Presbyterian and she went in her car to meet them. Waiting in the emergency room to see my stepdaddy. We sat down there for an hour. We couldn't see him. She took the blanket Duncan had been wrapped into the hospital, but could not give him the blanket and has not seen him since. But well, we just praying to God and we praying that those nurses that are working with Mr. Ire, God should bless them, God should help them, that they should be able to be well, that everything will go fine. And today, of course, Thomas Eric Duncan still in serious condition. She says she is very worried because no experimental drugs were available to help her stepdad, the man she calls Mr. Eric. Clarice? Sean, clarify something, though. She, she had direct contact, but she's not under quarantine? Well, she's done everything that's been asked of her, which is clear why she's not under court order or, or control by the state. They've asked her to do certain things with, for her and her family. She's done those things. Uh, unlike the first family, as we learned from the judge, that uh, they did not stay home as had been requested, and so thus we saw the control go in place. But she's done those things, and so they feel no need to impo impose uh, quarantine. So she is complying? Yes. All right, Sean, thank you. Okay.